Yeah, she's supposed to be Dana Carvey dressed as the church lady. I forgot that we are torturing ourselves with the church lady by hanging out with Deacon. Bet you never met a synth before Glory. Word is, Diamond City is under opposition control. Like, wow. Opposition, they call them. Don't even call them what they really are. What's that squirt bottle thing you give your cat? It is catnip spray. You can't really read it because the green screen's out, but it says catnip spray. And uh, it's like mainlining fucking catnip. The church lady's the ugliest character that I've made so far. Dude, how could she be uglier than Rodney? Rodney was so fucking hideous. The cue is someone saying, how dare you, sir. Um, yeah, she's pretty... She's pretty cantankerous. But, you know. I don't know, Amelia Bedelia was pretty fucking scary looking. She looked ridiculous. Is there a tripping ball 24-7? Well, we were gone for a whole day. That's the first catnip she's had since... What? Monday night? Rodney was a beautiful fish man. I hope that that is both the Rodney was a beautiful fish man and Rodney was a beautiful fish man. He's non-traditionally handsome. Yeah. Why can't the church lady be non-traditionally beautiful? Is it because she's a woman? Double standard. More like devil standard. This is the part where the church lady, you know, accuses you of accuses you of you know double standarding I don't know I don't know how she, what she does oh we need all the I don't know what we can get we take that. apparently we're that close to being over encumbered dude are we seriously is that how much that thing really weighs it weighs five three pounds Jesus Christ all right well if that's the case let's go to Bunker Hill we're probably over encumbered. We're over and blubberated for far too much. Nightbot was an ugly character. Yeah, Nightbot was pretty bad. The sheriff was pretty ugly too. I liked the sheriff, he was cool. Have I been drawing this rule 34 for nobody? Oh god. Let's see. Let's see how long we can go in our lives without accidentally coming across pornography drawn of our characters in this in this channel, where it's just Rodney and the church lady fucking banging each other. Maybe it's because of Satan. Hey, Floyd, what's up, man? I guess we could probably walk like normal. We have been attacked by raiders right here before, though. Maybe I shouldn't be so cocky. Lucas Miller is the only miles on the road. Only, only mother bugger here. Is terrible. Sure. Let's see what you have. What you see is what you get. Church lady believes in the sanctity of marriage. That wouldn't stop her from swallowing the whole bottom half of Rodney Dangerfield. She'd be like, oh, 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 oh. let me think here. We were gathering up the dirty water for something, but I can't remember what. Oh, maybe not. I was thinking for a second there that we were using it for, for soups, but that was rational that we were gathering up soups for. We have a lot of noodle cups. Let's see here. Anything else that seems necessary? What is Deacon using? He's using some kind of weird laser rifle thing, right? Let's see. If we're gonna throw money away for nothing, let's see if we can score us some. Let's 
see if we can score us some stuff that's like vaguely useful for for uh, Deacon back there. Ch uh, combat armor chest piece would be a good start. I see right arm. There's only one polymer, which is right here. Where is this? Hey, you called? Wait there. Absolutely. Come on. And my e okay, there we go. Up, up. What? What? Thank you for that follow, Jimmy. Eagerness is totally unrelated to wanting a smoke break. Ah, uh, you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Hey, what's up? Nice. So we have Archer alerts because at, in, during the afternoon streams we've been working on Archer a bit. We have we have a couple of builds set up for Archer. One of them is Archer himself. That's the one we're working on right now. The other ones are a secret. I will reveal them as they come out. I said they're a secret. God, come here, up to the top. I mean, what is your deal? Why is it that you want to be slightly closer and less elevated? She's like, I will paw your hand. All right. I don't know what you want, but you can't have it. We'll watch it for a while. What's your favorite build so far on, on the tubes? On the YouTubes? Um, John, she's called the Church Lady because there used to be a character in the old SNL days that was... Um, oh, shit. We should have gone back to this bridge. It was played by Dana Carvey, uh, and the character was called the Church Lady, and her, her, you know, whole shtick was that she would say, you know, she would talk about somebody in the news who was doing something like, you know, evil or whatever, by by Christianity standards, and then she would say, "Well, isn't that special?" And then she would go off on her little rant about how it all had to do with Satan. We're calling her the church lady because she um, because she doesn't use anything but specials. She doesn't use any other things. She doesn't use perks or magazines or bobbleheads. She uses bobbleheads that affect her special stats, but nothing else. So if we go to her perk window right now, for instance, you can see that I haven't taken any perks despite being level 30. It's just all grayed out. We have just taken tons of points up here, which makes her superhuman in a sense, but still not using the power of Satan's wily perks or whatever. Oh, shit. Wait a second. Did we already kill everybody in Haymarket? It doesn't seem likely. But then again, it also doesn't seem like there's anybody fucking here, so... <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like there's going to be a mine any second, though. Let's see, there's the boxing gym. If we go up and over this, there should be good neighbor right here. Will the Lana character have double tech nines? Unfortunately, there's nothing even remotely like a double tech nine, or even a single tech nine in the whole game. Um. If you look at it, you can see that she doesn't really have many options for tech nines. And there's no way to dual wield anything, so it might be a little bit hard to suggest that Lana will have tech nines. The rules say something about links. How can I link and let people see it? Um, so what, what we're supposed to be doing is that we're supposed to allow um, a mod to get you personal message to your link and then you can he'll post it for you or whatever because Nightbot will automatically delete them or is supposed to. But if you if you have a, a rad link and there's probably no mods in here right now, you could always post it to me in a, in a whisper and then I'll look at it and make sure that it's, you know, legit for the chat. Lack of sleep. Oh, I guess I've been sleeping on the goddamn floor in there, huh? 
You wish there were dual wielding and shouts? Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why there wouldn't be dual wielding in this game. I mean, I'm okay with, okay, you can't dual wield uh, super sledges or, uh, you know, an AK or whatever, but... Two pistols? Come on. How hard would it have been? She used an AK and BMP. Ooh, that was, ooh, nice. Oh, the scene where she's trying to kill Scorpio or whatever, and she fucking... <laughs> she's wearing nothing but her, like... Oh, yeah, that's... That's that would be a good example of of what the character is like. Hold on a second. We're apparently getting double linked here. Could it be oh, nice. Good calls. Oh, wait a second. That's the Satan one, isn't it? Fuck. Uh, Delcom special. That didn't take me very long. Oh, is it? That's that command. And here's the other one. Uh, yeah. No, that's not what I want. Um, Jimmy, no, I don't upload all the streams to YouTube. The only ones that I upload are completed um, challenge runs. So, um, like, for instance, the No Hut, No Pip Boy run. Uh, or whatever. The egg build. I like the egg build, too, thanks. I just realized I asked you a question and didn't acknowledge your answer. How would you reload uh, dual wielding guns? Like how Woody Harrelson does it. You just lay the clips out on the table and then you just drop the clips on you go wham and you fucking put the clips back in the gun. The dual wielding pistol class weapon sort of an accuracy penalty that decreases with higher agility. Yeah, I mean, you know, people use two guns all the time. It's not impossible. So now when we want to know why we call it the church lady or whatever, you can just throw down the isn't that special command. And anytime we want to know who is it that's making my life hard, uh, so, so, far, so long as this build is taking place, we can check it out. Who is making my life hard? Who is doing this to me? And then we can type in who is it. What? What, man? We just got back to playing here. Ow, my fucking hands. Shit. Jesus. You lose this fight. I didn't even have to look for you to lose. You lose. You lose that fight. But I'm, but I'm. Oh shit, you know what I need to gather up to? Ugh. We're gonna run out of weight quickly. How much weight do we have? 127. How are we gonna gather up the stuff required for. Alright, come here, you. Tell me what you want. Loading up or loading off? Loading up. Get the hell out of here with this. Take that. Yeah, we we need to gather up the shit required for generators too. No aim down the sight with dual wielding. Yeah, no, it would have to be all hip fire. You would just have to know how to do it. You might want to focus on the valuable salvage. You'll break your back carrying worthless scrap. What the hell kind of talk is that, man? I can still run with this pack. How bad could my fucking back be if I'm still running with this shit? 
That sounds like a sentry bot. Although it could very well be a brother to steel guy with a pr pretty crazy gun. But I don't see them, therefore they are not real. Jesus fuck, it's bright out there. I feel like an angel on this stream. I'm just glowing. Alright, time to fucking turn off one of my lights. Stupid, sunny bullshit, man. Who said, who said you could be bright outside? Just block it out. Double daggers would be for the Riddick build. Yeah, I mean, you know. Whatever, Riddick, whatever and shit, you know. It's fine. You enjoyed repairing weapons like in Fallout New Vegas? Alright, you're a masochist. What kind of chair is that? It's called OP Seat. And it's like a DX racer, but it's cheaper and probably worse for your back. Ooh, what the hell is this place? It has like a full rack of plate of shit. There's a weapons workbench. There's a guy who died, I guess, fixing this truck. He has a power armor station and an antifreeze bottle and everything. God damn. Yeah, it's a it's an alright chair, but I'm starting to, to wonder if maybe the reason that my fucking neck hurts all the time is because of the way I sit in this chair. Maybe I should be paying more attention to my posture and shit. Or not. I should just forget all about it. Yeah, I, I should think that you should be able to do fast clicking to do like combo attacks with double daggers or the power attacks would be like WAP or like WAP, you know. Let's see. We're supposed to be going towards this one. This is the This is the Coast Guard Pier. And if I have any goddamn sense, I'll kill the suicider while he's surrounded by dudes. Therefore allowing me to possibly you know not have to fight them all to the death. A man console is a pain in the proverbial yeah, I'm not a big fan of it either. I'm not good at it at all. Let's see, there's bears in there. This doesn't look right. Not right at all. What? It's a cul-de-sac with a bear in it. And if you get attacked by that bear, it's your own goddamn fault, Deacon. I'm not even gonna help you. I'm just gonna let you get killed and that'll be that. You would think it wouldn't be too hard to port over the dual animations from Skyrim. You're probably right about that. But that said, you know, I don't know who's going to do it. For all I know, it's already out there. Somebody's made a mod for the game that has dual wielding as part of the thing. Or, you know, different animations. God damn it, why are they always gonna be walking through thick fucking brush? This isn't even the guy that I want to blow up.
God damn it, he's moving too fucking fast. Seems we have a tail. Well, I'm so glad that I didn't kill that guy. It would have been so much easier if I had I done so. Definitely die. Should definitely die with all that, with all that blood coming out of him. Oh, I probably shouldn't even pick up bullets at this point. I should only pick up things that are going to be useful. You got what it takes to go right in the back of the fucking ear. Jesus, that's real gross. Why did I not just vats his arm? Because when they're behind brush, you have like a 20% chance to hit him. And we don't have very good, I mean, we have very high perception and a scope. But if they're standing behind a thing like this, somehow the game is just like, that, that's a 30%, that's a 30% chance. We did vats him four times or three times with 40% chance. And statistically, you know, we had a better chance than not to hit him, but we still didn't hit him, so. We got unlucky ever so gently. Wouldn't I be doing better with an automatic gun? Well, it kind of depends, okay? So this gun will do bleed damage for every shot. And if I had an automatic weapon, I probably would kill shit much faster. I also would go through ammo much faster. And since I don't have the capacity to use scrounger, or like anything else that's even remotely useful for a character like this, I try my best to conserve my ammunition. Now, if I found something that was better than this, like a bleeding weapon that was automatic, or, for instance, um, where the hell is the suicider in here? There definitely is one. Yeah, if I found a bleeding weapon that was automatic, or perhaps an explosive weapon, I'd be like, fuck it, I'm just gonna use this thing, because it's really, really strong. But, since I haven't done that yet... See, with this thing, I can just sort of kind of shoot him a bunch of times. And call it good. Because he'll slowly bleed to death. shooting at me from like such long range and is doing tons and tons of damage to me. It's this guy? Seriously? W Koala, thank you for that follow. I don't know what's blowing up down there, but I'm still getting shot at by somebody. Dickhead. I'll get her done. Don't say that, Deacon. Don't you ever say that. Hmm, we have some meaty treats we can eat here. Recover our health a bit. Recently did a Skyrim build based around being an NPC. My win condition was to build a homestead with only money earned through trading, basically acting like an NPC. No kill, no armor, hard mode. That's pretty cool, man. Um, did you do the whole thing where you like 
went through and did odd jobs, but not like anything that involved like fighting or like sneaking or anything where they were just like, you gotta, you can sell us all the cabbages you can find and you just like gather up all the cabbages you can find. And that's all you do. Don't look, but I think we're being watched. Thanks, Deacon. You unbelievable fuck up. Well, let's see here. I need circuitry, I think. Deacon, are you wearing a fucking hat? I'm gonna make you wear this stupid fucking thing. What the hell are you wearing? He's wearing a newsboy cap. You're right, here. This is your new outfit. You're the Pillsbury fucking doughboy. I hope he's like, oh. Yeah, I've done, I've seen people who have done um, a playthrough with, without leaving Sanctuary in Fallout. And their whole thing was just setting up a new life. Like, they just are like, you know, they, leave, they basically, they basically accept that their son is just dead. And they don't ever try to go find him. And so they just spend all their time at, you know, at home. And it's just it's just a question of how how well there's a magazine in there. That one is the Star Starlet Sniper. The Starlet Sniper, yeah. Guns and Bullets magazine. Oh no, that's totally awesome tales. Okay, now let's go to Arc Jet. We'll get our we'll get our biometric scanners from in there. Why the deacon hate? I don't know. I just don't. I just don't like him. I don't like that he fucks with you all the time and tries to like be all funny and jokey. I don't like that he, you don't even know if his the stories that he tells you about his origins or whatever are real. <clears throat> and I don't like his fucking like blase attitude about being put into situations where he's gonna die like any time. You know. I also don't like his fucking voice. It reminds me of like Keanu Reeves in Point Break. It's just like, sir, you guys want to go solve mysteries and rescue some synths? This is our boy Ricky. He's a funny guy. It's like, come on, man. You ain't funny. You ain't funny, Tom. You're fat. And look as though you should be, even though you're not. Who's there? Well, what? Not a big fan. You did a no leaving Sanctuary Island build. That's a good time. I ought to do it one of these days. I also ought to eventually take mutated fern flower to that creepy drug guy. But I always forget. Yeah, basically you just have to hope that there's a crystal somewhere. Um... See, that kind of shit, that unprompted show me attention shit, doesn't it it doesn't really appeal to me very much. Well, I'll tell you what I don't want. I don't want to fight Mr. Gutsy right now. That's not a good That's definitely not who we want to play with right now. Even built the cages to capture animals. Oh, it's probably different now than it was when the when the vanilla game came out because you have so much access to weird shit you can build. You know. God damn it, Deacon! Are you legit fighting a fucking Mr. Gutsy? You better not be. I heard something. Yeah, was it my gunfire at this enemy, you idiot? Really? Now the interesting thing is that not only does bleed damage apply to like every shot, Lost. and it applies to robots. Um. It also, 
cannot be resisted by anything. 